Hi everyone, you alright? Alan here, welcome to Alan Kane's Daily Blog. Yeah, went out, went out again today, had a walk around town, uh, got a few, it- few items, some bottles of uh, pop and stuff, as you can see on the floor. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, there you go, on the floor there. Yeah, um, there's a bit of a situation going on at the Kane household today at the moment with Alfie. We've learned that where Alfie lives, uh, another cat has been brought in. They've got another cat. And to be truthful, I don't think Alfie's getting because Alfie's here at the moment. I don't think Alfie's getting on with that cat. The new one. And to be truthful, he's not he's not too happy about it. He just wants to go somewhere and crash. And because he doesn't want to really be there, you know, with this other cat being there, this new one, and uh, it's looking like um, he's going to be using this place as a bit of a crash pad, even though we have another cat. Uh, he, but he's sleeping in the other room. He's keeping out. He's keeping well out of the way. Um, but uh, the one behind me is uh, he's a lot older. Well, he's a lot older. Um, we used to have a cat called Soot, and Alfie used to be friends with Soot, so. Is basically curled up here. He used to come down, curl up here, and uh, uh, Sutton and Alfie were good friends and stuff. So, you know, it's like it's like having Sut back again. You know, because Sut died um, the complication, kidney complications. So we just uh, we put up with we put up with Alfie and uh, and and. George in the other room, so you know it's just one of those things that basically happens. Um, hopefully tomorrow we should get things sorted, and uh, it should be all right. The big question, eh? So we'll just have to wait and see what what's happening and everything with um alfie because it's not my cat and we'll just have to wait and see what happens and uh yeah he i don't know i don't think he uh gets on too well with the other cat so I don't know he gets on with George alright but uh, the other cat that they've got uh, they don't really phones for you Hang on, what about phones for you?
judgment. Uh, if we can, we're going to go to William's question now. Lots of questions coming in on email. Uh, it's uh, Lark at gbnews.uk. And this one is from William on Twitter, who asks, what do you think about the demise of phones for you at the hands of BC partners? Well, uh, I think the first thing, I don't really say that it is the hands of BC partners because I believe, and I will enter into the press and the advertise, saying that I believe it's the collusion between the networks, Vodafone, Telnet, uh, and B. And I still believe it was collusion. I am virtually certain it was because I cannot understand how three networks would want to eliminate a customer like that. You know, if you look at it logically, if one network decides to bail out, yeah, we can understand that. But then if the second one bails out, the remaining incumbent network has got the books absolutely in the palm of its hands, and it can take whatever... Oh, they're talking about what happened to phones for you. Oh well, I used to have, I got a phone from Phones for You, it was a long time ago, and uh, yeah. So we we'll just have to wait and see what happens, folks. Um, with Alpha here, because to tell you the truth, I can't really afford vets bills and uh, and, and that. So we're just gonna have to. Uh, um, George's George's vet bill last time was about two hundred quid, and uh, yeah. We're just waiting now to see what happens with the Alfie here. If he goes back home or not. Um, with, with this other cat being... A, I think it's Siamese, I think. And Siamese can be quite... Uh, can be can be quite uh, aggressive. Especially if it's a, another cat they don't like. Because Siamese cats generally either uh, in pairs or or when they do on their own um, they can get quite aggressive yeah well we're going to see what happens tomorrow and uh, and that he might have he might have uh, eaten somewhere else other than here and uh, we'll just have to wait and see and uh, see how it goes, but I can't afford another vet, another you know, you know, a vet's bill or anything, you know. So we just have to be very careful what we give him. Yeah, I did go out. As I said, I did go out today. I uh, went round town, and. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us, and I do look forward to catching up in the near future. My thanks there to uh, to Remarkable.
Yeah. So, you know, we just have to wait and see what happens. David Rundle, eh? Just wait and see. Does it will it uh, work or not? Well, it's up to you know what goes on. Um, yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, I had a walk around town and all that, and uh, see how things. You know, bought one or two things, bought some, bought some pop and stuff, and uh, we'll just see how it goes from there on. Well, I just hope everybody's okay. We haven't had any helicopters tonight uh, going over. Um, a few days ago, we had helicopters coming over the over the house and everything, and uh, it got a bit, it, yeah, it got a bit noisy. We've had a few fireworks uh, tonight at uh, up this side end of Blackburn. And, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things at this moment in time. Uh, the major player has been the weather. It's been crappy, absolutely crappy. And uh, we're just having to, like, I'm just, a, oops, sorry, shouldn't show the adverts on the TV. That's definitely a takedown notice. Um, yeah. So we just have to wait and see what's happening. And uh, I did a bit of shopping in town today. And uh, it's um, just one of those things that we just have to deal with. Um, bit of advice for everybody. Um, uh, if you want, if you want to get some stuff in and you're thinking of buying some stuff uh please 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 get tin stuff because it usually lasts a lot longer than uh than um than other stuff because uh, you can stack it properly and everything so you know be prepared because there are going to be shortages they've confirmed that um but uh if you are thinking of buying stuff to keep in the house just buy an extra one or just buy buy an extra one and uh people can't really people with that people can't really accuse you of hoarding um, just buy an extra tin, just one tin, and uh, go out on a daily basis if you can. If it's not absolutely tipping it down like it was today, yeah, just buy an extra tin, maybe two, and uh, put it in your put it in your holding area and uh, leave it there. Um, yeah, if you have a septic tank, you know, fill it up with stuff and bury it in your garden, like I said in one of my other videos, that does help. Uh, or cause like, and don't tell your neighbours what you've got in there because uh, it can be, it can work out uh, pretty hard work. Uh, with people knowing what you've got in there. So, you know, just uh, one, maybe two extra tins for when you go, when you go out shopping. Um, what else was there? What else was there? Um, 
excuse me, that was a yawn then. Um, major shout outs to all the usual folk. Take a walk on the wild side. Uh, Helen's crowd, loud and proud. Visit for our cost. Um, yeah, the I've been reading that the Golden Mile amusement uh, area um, is going to be acquired by Merlin Entertainment. Um, I think that could be an extension of the Sea Life Centre, or. Uh, they could be ending up taking that down. Um, so, yeah. May, maybe the Sea Life Centre might be uh, used for something bigger. Because, um, like, what they could do, they could build um, a walkway across or a bridge or something or basically take that road out all together. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, as I know, Merlin Entertainments are planning something there. Um, there are rumours that the Golden Mile Amusements might be knocked down, uh, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see, see what uh, they're going to do with that. Because I know, they put, I know um, planning permissions uh gone through there's also been um talks about what's uh, going on with the refugees and stuff um that's something that's going to have to be sorted out one of the major things i'd like to see happen is that britannia hotels um basically gets kicked to the curb because to be truthful um there was a write up about the Grand Hotel in Scarborough and there was another hotel mentioned because they use because they have about f uh two maybe three hotels in the Scarborough area. Um, I don't know how um, Britannia Hotels get away with the amounts of uh, unsightly hotel rooms they have and how many hotels they can um, hold, keep hold of. But the major thing is what I, what I think is that that company should be... Um, dealt with and to be truthful they shouldn't be really allowed to have hotels like that you know if you don't clean them up i think you should i think they should uh, have their hotel your license taken off them really and uh you know give them a you know big massive blackpool council big massive fine Scarborough Borough Council, big massive fine, because you can't have hotels like that. You definitely not cannot have hotels like that. They are um they are an absolute eyesore. Um, and people, you know, are paying good money to stay in these places, and uh, to to pay, I know forty five pound a night. Forty five pound a night in some places. If you if you've got a discount card, you can get them for thirty five pound a night. But uh, it doesn't excuse the cleanliness and tidiness of the rooms uh, with that. And uh, really, uh, Blackpool Council and other councils should be basically giving should be giving Britannia hotels a kick up kick up the backside, um, and. Basically, one of the major things that they could do is take away their alcohol license, because uh, then they won't have to. Then they won't won't be able to operate a bar at night. Um, also, some of these hotels should have a food license, 
well, remove their food license. Um, and as a way of punishments, because uh, I really do feel that uh, Britannia Hotels needs really, really needs to be dealt with. And, uh, you know, you can, as I said, they're a disgrace and they're, they're a big stain on the hoteliers, uh, you know, of other operators. Hilton, Hilton do do quite good um, spot checks of the rooms and everything. And uh, also, I get the same off travel lodge or travel lodge. Well, people say give a, that give them a bit of a bad name, but uh, you know, not as bad as what um, Britannia hotels are. And you've also got holiday Holiday Inn. Um, Holiday Inn out of the out of the three are the best ones um, for staying at because um, those are the cheaper end ones. Uh, Marriott and Hilton and Crockford's are are right at the top end, um, but I've been getting nightmare stories with with them a little bit as well that. Uh, some rooms aren't being cleaned properly. That's basically the Vegas properties. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, my friend uh, Alf is just going to... Well, he's trying to bury his head, really. And uh, I don't know if he's uh, eating anything because he hasn't uh, touched the food yet. And uh, we'll just wait and see what happens. Poor bugger. You know, a matter of fact, I think he might have been fed. I think he just wanted somewhere to, somewhere to put his head down and crash. Well, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, he might want to go out after for a spend, but we'll just have to see. And uh, yeah, so keep mindful and keep safe, Fox. Um, oh yeah, I forgot a few people. Um, took a walk on the wild side, big massive Leroy, Helen's crowd, loud, loud and proud, old Blackpool biker, like her, uh, Blackpool and beyond. Uh, who else was there? Oh yeah, all the Blackpool, oh. All the Blackpool bloggers, um, because I really do enjoy, um, uh, the videos that they put out. Oh, and Colin, yeah, building Blackpool better, yeah. Um, it's going to be a bit of a crappy winter, but I'm thinking about what the, I'm going to do for it, uh. Halloween and uh, basically bonfire night. Um, normally, last year, because of the situation, we didn't, for the past two situations, we didn't do the Havelock. Um, we're looking at doing uh, the uh, Golden Cup this year or the Darwin Cr Cricket Club because it was pretty good last time. Um but uh, we'll just have to wait and see on those. Um, what else was there? Yeah, so, um, I am going to do some of the uh, building, some of the areas of Blackburn. Um, but at this moment in time, it's a bit, it's a bit iffy at the moment with the with the weather, weather wise. So we'll just see how that goes. And, uh, yeah. We'll just see how that goes. Uh, very soon, Accrington are going to have the Christmas lights put on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it wasn't... It wasn't that brilliant last year, but... And the year before... If, if I remember too rightly, I think I counted 
uh, 12, 12, 14, 12, 14 Christmas lights in uh, Accrington. Yeah. Well, we'll see if it's get see if it gets any better this year. Um, yeah. So Blackpool are going to be putting their, uh, well, first thing the first things first to get the Halloween stuff done, and then there'll be a big, uh, big bonfire in one of the parks. Um, I don't know what they're doing about Witten this year. Um. That might go on as per normal, because the lions like that, because they like to get a big crowd up there, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what other shows, t shows and displays turn up. Um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna clear off, and I'm gonna say three. I'm going to say ta -ra for now. Leave your comments in the comment section below. So I'm going to say three, two, one, click. Bye for now.